Howdy fellas! Two CS2 updates were released, weighing 77 and 23 megabytes. And as you can easily guess, Valve is fixing the game on the fly while the CS2 Major Copenhagen 2024 is ongoing. But they haven't brought the CS2 stickers and capsules again. Today, as usual, we'll see what the developers have prepared in the CS2 update and what is awaiting for us at the Major. Incredibly, we were finally given an official list of changes. Most likely the developers wanted to release one big CS2 update, but didn't have any time and split it into several ones. So we're likely to see a few more small CS2 updates during the Major. The main change, of course, concerns the incident that happened at the Major. On Vertigo, after the death of a Furia planter, the bomb fell through the map and ruined the round. This didn't prevent Furia from winning, but this situation is very unpleasant, especially at the first ever CS2 Major. Predictions for the second stage are opening today, which players can change until the start of the second stage itself. The tournament hub itself also received some fixes and a button was added to view the souvenir case. They also fixed some sections on the menu related to the tournament and added variables to force the appearance of a window in which newcomers are offered to go through training. The developers replaced the tournament preview where they removed the image of pandas and added the Cloud9 logo, but no one bothered to change the banner. And it seems we're still watching a Half-Life tournament where the Panda team still managed to make it. Perhaps this will be in the next CS2 update, or the next one, or the next one, or the next one, or the next one. As for the capsules and stickers, the developers in real time while the Major is going on are asking pro players to send their autographs. Because, oh no, it turns out that some Autographs were made by designer and even free fonts were used. No shit. And all this instead of the real signatures of eSportsmen. The backstory is that Valve decided this year that all autographs should be directly from eSportsmen, who can draw it on a sheet of paper in a couple of seconds. The idea is interesting, of course. But then why did they accept and upload all the autographs into the game files and try to fix everything in the CS2 update? In general, this epic saga with capsules and stickers is dragging on and it's hard to make any predictions. Finally, about the long-suffering Inferno map, which no one wants to pick at the tournament. There is nothing really surprising about this since no one really plays this map in regular games either. It uses a lot of PC resources and the color palette and narrow corridors don't allow you to unleash your inner sportsman. And the question is, will they remove it from the first tier as happened with the great dust too, which I love. Hit the like button, subscribe, follow us on every social media and watch me streaming on Twitch. That's it for now, folks. I should get going.